wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated middleweight out of Oxnard, California, Mirem Nur Sultana. And when the action begins inside the ring, your referee in charge, Wayne Hedgeman. Here we look at the tilt of the tape. 25 to 32 years of age. Uh, Lewis has the edge on him on that. Uh, the weight for Philly is the same. The reach is a little bit bigger, <laughs> okay? Oh, my man, he's got to overcome. Miriam has a great reach, and that's the advantage that he has, the reach advantage. Yeah, he's the taller and the rangier fighter. We're going to see how he uses it. Yeah, he's an orthodox fighter. He likes to work behind his jab. That's a nice jab to the stomach. Generally speaking, he likes to stalk his opponents, likes to back them up. When he gets them against the ropes, that's when he uncorks the combinations and the body attack. Yeah, he's a boxer. As you can see from the outside, he's looking not to engage right away. Um, he does have to reach advantage. He shouldn't have to engage too close. Okay, because Lewis said that gives Lewis the advantage. So what he's doing now is just a filling out process. Keeping Lewis on the outside with a long, long, long jab, ranging jab, and holding that right hand. Hernandez likes to block and counter. Once he's in range, he has that high guard, and he'll take a punch. That's a sneaky straight right that he has. That's the punch that, do that dropped Terrell Gachet. Yeah, it's very sneaky right hand, yeah. and, and that's what he needs to come over the top of that, that left jab. And he knows how to aim it to the temple as well. Yeah, like Lewis, Lewis's idea is to get on the inside and work that body. That would be a good idea for him because he can slow down the pace of Miriam. I think his pet punch is a hook or a counter hook. So he'll block a punch like a guy will jab. And if they drop that right hand just a little bit, it's an instinct of his to fire that left hook. And it was a left hook that dropped Rashidi Ellis in 2015. Oh, he got a very sneaky right hand. If you look at that right hand, he's coming over the top of the jab of Miriam. And he's doing a very good job of coming over the top of him. He's, he's caught Miriam a few times. And he has to pay attention to what's going on now. Nur Sultimov snuck a, a right uppercut between that guard, that high guard of Fernandez. And I think that's a punch that can work for him on the inside. Well, it can. You know why? He's shorter. <laughs> right. So an uh, uppercut is in that diagram right there. It's right in that diagram. So if, if I throw an uppercut on a shorter guy, I'm more likely going to catch him because that's where he's at. And on taller guys, it's a harder punch to catch guys. That sneaky overhand right that Lewis has is very sneaky. We're going to see how Miriam adjusts to that overhand right. We'll also see how he adjusts to somebody who's not intimidated by him. Somebody yeah. who's not coming in here to lose. And I'm not saying that all of uh, Nur Sultanov's opponents have been like that. Maybe the first couple, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and it's, you know, it's a it's a step-by-step -step process of, of building a prospect. He's not that old. He's just 26 years old. So the matchmakers and, and his his promoters and his manager, Agus Klamas, they know they can take their, a little bit of time with him. Uh, but I think this is definitely a step up for Nur Sultanov. Yeah. The, you got to get better opposition as you go up the ladder. Hernandez will not be intimidated. Don't just dream it, drive it during the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event going on now at Ocean Honda. Drive home a brand new Honda Accord for only $179 per month. So hurry in and save big during the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event at Ocean Honda. All right, we're back. Hernandez prefers to stand between rounds. <laughs> he looks just fine, looks very confident. Not breathing hard at all. He's very relaxed, very poised in there. And Nur Sultanov looks the same way in his corner. I'll tell you, he's got a lot of experience, Lewis, you gotta understand. Hernandez has been in here many times before. And uh, he's got more fights than Miriam, so, you know, he's, that confidence level definitely, definitely is gonna help him in this fight. But I like that we saw in, in round one, 
which I scored for North Soltanov, although it was it was competitive. I liked in the opening round, we saw the Puerto Rican push the prospect backwards, take the fight to the prospect. Yeah, well, that's what he has. He's a shorter than man. Um, you know, when you're shorter, you got to go forward. Take away the leverage of the taller man. That's how boxing works. It's all a science, okay? So with Lewis going forward, he's taking away the leverage of Miriam. And Hernandez has underrated craftiness. He will set traps. And he'll press a guy for, for about a minute, and then he'll back off and step back and, and hope to lure the, the, the opponent in. And he tries to counterpunch him. You like gotta, I said, yeah. the left hook, that's his, that's his pet counterpunch. But he's talking. I, I don't think Nur Sultanov speaks Spanish, but he <laughs> understands. He understands the meaning of that. He's saying something. Well, Hernandez is saying, bring it. Yeah. He's telling him, I'm not intimidated by you. Well, remember the great Macho Camacho. You got the shorts on. He's Puerto Rican. You got Juan Laporte. Okay, Alfredo Gomez. You know what? He's got some Camacho in his facial. Yeah. Like, in it, like his eyebrows and the hair a little bit. I can kind of see that. Yeah. Slight resemblance. Yeah. Slight resemblance. Yeah. The thing with Amanda is he's got to do is learn to move his, move his head. He's not moving his head at all. Okay, side to side. If you leave your head in one spot, your opponent know where you're at. So what you want to do is you want to throw a punch and move your head. Hernandez ran into a shot there, but before he ran into that shot from Nur Sultanov, he was taking it to the undefeated prospect. I give, I give Miriam the, the credit for having patience. He has a great deal of patience. I mean, he has a man going forward on him, and he's relaxing at a point. He's breathing probably. Watch his breathing. He's not exactly open mouth, and he's using his breath for his punches. That could speak to his amateur experience. It oh. could speak to the gym experience. He's getting great sparring at the boxing laboratory in Oxnard, California. Well, you got to think about it. When you're an amateur, that's the growing curve. And when you're a high, the great, high grade amateur, you learn all these tricks and how to breathe properly, how to punch properly, um, not leave your head there. You know. When Luis Hernandez, you know, the head movement is, is lacking. He's in the same spot. He's such a squat guy. I mean, he barely has a neck. But, yeah, I, if not head movement, then upper body movement. And yeah, he's getting caught now by Nur Sultanov. Hernandez pounds his chest, does not sit down, although they're bringing a stool out. Let's see if he sits down. Okay, now he's gonna sit down. Yeah. The second round was tougher than the first round. Both yes. both rounds were competitive. I scored both for North Saltanov. But uh, it looked like at the, at the first half of the second round, it looked like Hernandez was on his way to winning it. Well, me too. I, I scored it 10-10, uh, 9-9, 18-20. Um, I got Merriam winning. I think that he's doing a heck of a boxing job. Um, he's staying on the outside. He's getting hit from time to time. Uh, Hernandez is trying to find his way in. Um, if Hernandez applies more pressure, he has a better shot. He's got to press Miriam. He's got to press him backwards. And, and, and for him to happen, very dangerous. In the corner of Nur Sultanov, Buddy McGirt sighting. Your old buddy from New York, oh, Buddy McGirt. Friend. Yes. <laughs> I, spar, I got ready, Buddy McGirt ready for the Pernod Whitaker fight. I spawned with him for that did, fight. Hey, you did a good job. And I'm a sophomore. The boy, first yeah. fight? Oh, for the, the first, first fight? fight? Oh, yeah. I was first there fight. as a fan. Madison Square Garden. Very argumentative yeah. whether buddy, buddy won or lost that fight. I, I, I believe as a fan, I scored it seven rounds to five for Pernell Whitaker. I was yeah. rooting for Buddy McGirt, though. Yeah, see, like, it was a good fight. And I got him ready. I sparred with him for the fight. Uh, Brilliant fight. Yeah, I was on the amateur at the time when I sparred. Nice, no. nice one-two combination for North Sultanov. Well, that's what Hernandez needs to do. So the forward motion that he was giving just now, that at, that's what, like right there to the body, to the head. To the body and the head, but he can't lack opportunities. I Meaning, there you go, he's walking in, his hands are up, but he's not letting his hands go. See what I'm saying? Don't let your hands go. When you get that right there, four or five punches, and then back to the jab. Yeah, he's landed some nice punches in the first two rounds, but I had to score them for North Sultanov 
just because he's the busier of the two. He's more and, consistent. And, and, yeah, he's the more consistent of the two, and he's also landing some choice shots. Yeah, Merriam, I tell you one thing, he's doing a great job at keeping Hernandez on the outside. Nur Sultanov is showing better footwork than I've seen in, in some of his previous fights. It's adapting and adjusting. Right now, he had to adapt to Hernandez going forward. Oh, Hernandez not stepping backwards. That was a well-timed right hand that Nur Sultanov dropped on Hernandez. And I like the way he's stepping around Hernandez. They, he's keeping him spinning. Yes. This is what I told you to say. Keep him spinning. Because if you stay in front of him, he has a chance of finding you. If you stand in front of Hernandez, you're playing to his strengths. That was a nice combination from Hernandez. He landed a right to the body and then an uppercut. Yeah. It split but, the guard of Nur Sultanov. But the one thing that Hernandez did wrong, he went straight back in the line. <laughs> yes. Don't lose range. When you got your range, you have you catch a guy with some shots, you don't step away from him, step to the side. Either I step right or I step left. And I start over again. So Hernandez right now is giving away by him going to the outside, he's not gonna be able to outbox Mario, no matter what he does. Hernandez briefly switching to Southpaw. Trying to get into North Sultanov's head. Smiling at him. Still talking to him. And, and Hernandez is still looking for something. He's still trying to find ways to, to get to North Sultanov. And he's found it. If you look on the right nostril, there's a trickle of blood coming from the Kazakhstan prospect's nose. You can see it clearly now. So this is not a walk in the park for Nur Sultanov. No, no way, no how. And the thing is, Hernandez is having his moments, but he's not having enough of them to win the rounds. Exactly. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see how Nur Sultanov's corner deals with the bloody nose. Doesn't look serious, doesn't look like a broken nose. You know, the blood's not gushing out. No. And I have to imagine uh, for, uh, for Hernandez, just seeing that blood, that's got to give him some encouragement. It makes him feel like, okay, I am landing here. It does. It means that he did something. No matter how it happened, it happened. He got a bloody nose. So it's an encouragement. And I think that, that Hope is not overconfident, though. Because he was dropping his hands and, and inviting the Merriman. He was making some mistakes. And yeah, you don't do that. Offensively, though, I, I think what, what busted the nose of Nur Sultanov was that right uppercut. Yes, there, was I a, noticed. there was a right to the body, and then he turned it into an uppercut, and it nailed it nailed Nur Sultanov clean. I would love to see an instant replay of that if we have that. All right, round four Nur Sultanov versus Hernandez. These guys are middleweights. Middleweights are some hard punches. Middleweights hit hard. You got Marvin Hagler was middleweight. Julian Jackson was a middleweight. Yeah, they're good size. But James they, Tony was a middleweight. Roy they're, Jones. Not, they're not so small. I mean, they're not so big that they're ponderous. I mean, they have all that athleticism. They've got the, the speed of the lighter weights and the, yeah. the power of the heavier weights. For the audience, junior middleweights are 154. A, a middleweight is 160. You got Triple G, Canelo as middleweights. Okay, Charlo Brothers. That's a good, it's a good, actually, yeah, 154 to 160. It's, it's, it's actually it's a good deep. division. Yes, it is. Nice exchange there. Nur Sultanov is, is the busier of the two. He's landing more, and he forces Hernandez to hold on. Hernandez is grinning and smiling, but he's getting the worst of these exchanges. Yeah, he's, he's, he's too few and infrequent. He's got to stay more consistent. Uh, Miriam is on the outside. They're going nice right hand he just landed on Hernandez yeah and it was well timed and he stifled a setup from Hernandez Hernandez was getting ready to drop a one-two combo of his own nice hard right to the body at least it made a loud noise but Hernandez needs more than just one shot yeah he's one punch and like I said too inconsistent he throws one punch then he either holds, grabs, or steps away. And that's why he loses these fights. That's yeah. why he lost to Rashidi Ellis. That's why he lost to uh, Esquivius Falcao and Terrell Gachet. He was in those fights, and he gave those guys something to think about, especially Gachet and, and Ellis. But he didn't do enough to capitalize on those knockdowns, and he didn't. He wasn't active enough to win the majority of rounds. Yeah, right now, 
he's doing a decent job, but he's not countering when he's getting when he's, when he's blocking the shots. He's blocking some punches to his arms, but he's not countering. Now I, I like his combinations inside. When North Sultanov covers up and doesn't punch back, offensively speaking, Hernandez is he's crisp. He's crisp yeah. with those two and three punch combos. He's actually a good fighter. I mean, look at the nose of Miriam. Look at his nose. I mean, he's not bleeding lightly. He's bleeding really hard right now. And, and that could be affecting his, his breathing a little bit. Hopefully it's not broken. It stops your career for a while, but, you know, but it, it could be. You ever suffer a broken nose? No, thank God. Knock on wood. <laughs> How many fights did you have? 72. <laughs> Never a broken nose. No, the 72 my professional nose fights. is not made, I think, to be broken the way yeah. it, with, with bone structure. It's the way your bones are. And my DNA, I guess. And your skills. That's good, yeah. Don't that get had, hit. That had something to do with it. Yeah, being undefeated for 41 fights, I think that helped out a lot. All right, end of round four. I've got a shutout so far for Nur Sultanov. Not a walk in the park, though. He's having to earn this victory tonight. You're not lying. I got it scored unofficially, of course, 40-36. I haven't given one round to Hernandez. And um, he's not just not consistent enough. But he's competitive. Yes. He's, he's competitive, but he's not consistent. So he, that's pretty good. He's providing resistance. You know what I'm saying? I'm he's, something, he's, I'm, he's provided a little bit of adversity for Nur Sultanov to deal with. And Nur Sultanov is dealing with it. I'm talking about the bloody yeah. nose. And he'll take this experience into future fights when he gets cut or gets a bloody nose. He's been there. He's done that. And he, yeah. he'll cope with it even better. It's very good when, you get a, when something happens in a fight. Of course, you learn from it. Right. You need it to happen at this stage, not at the highest level. Of <laughs> course, you don't know how to deal with it by then. It's referee Wayne Hedgepath, and he is... Uh, Asserting his authority in that ring. Doesn't want too much grappling or rough stuff. I think Hernandez is stepping on the gas now. He he's getting from his camp. He's not doing enough. I give him credit. He takes a great shot. It's never been stopped. He has seven losses, and he's fought some guys who can crack, and he's never been stopped. Although I would say... Nur Sultanov is probably one of the bigger men that he's been in with. Nur Sultanov is a, you know, he's a modern-sized middleweight. And yeah, he got to go up and weight at his size. Yeah, he's got, he's got the kind of bone structure. You can see him, you know, with, with the right conditioning regimen, go up to 168. But he looks fine. He weighed in at 162 yesterday, and he looks good at this weight. Yeah, he's probably like, Merriman's is probably like saying himself, I hit this guy with my best shot, and he mimics me, or he makes a joke of it. Right. So this is great experience for him. Look at him. Hernandez, give him credit. He is right there. And he's got heavy hands. He's not a knockout artist, but nine knockouts and 16 victories, that's not, that's not too shabby. And you can tell his, his, his hands are heavy because you can hear it. You can hear the impact. I could hear when he throws his punches. He's solid. He's not landing two or three of them that could put somebody down. You have to. Every once in a while, he catches with one. I give Miriam credit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at him. He's got that bloody nose, and he's reacting to it. He's got a hope and pray it's not broken. And we're seeing the jab and a well-timed right hand from Nur Sultanov. What I'm not seeing from Nur Sultanov that I've seen in previous fights is a body attack. When you're, now, when you're in with a shorter fighter, is it harder to go to the body? Well, you got to be sm you got to be slick and sly. You go to the body when you when you bend your knees. See, what you do is you never let a guy smaller than you, okay, stay tall. Sometimes when you're on the inside, you got to right. bend your knees a little bit, get on his level, throw the body, and then step left and right. Um, you see, with Hernandez, he's a smaller man. He should allow Miriam to throw punches down at him. And then make a miss and make a pay. Counter. Oh, there he go touch the ropes again. The referee <laughs> won for that.
So Hernandez, after five rounds, he hasn't won a round on our scorecard. He doesn't look totally discouraged, but I think the showboating in round five could be an indication of his own frustration. Oh, yeah. And it's an eight-round fight, so guess what? 8-3 rule. Right now, Miriam has the whole advantage of the fight, the whole win right now. Um, he just got to stay active. Um, at this point, as a fighter, I would tell myself, I'm not going to get a knockout. So let me just go and do the rounds, round after round after round, and get the victory and take it. Because don't try for the knockout, because I don't believe that Miriam has the power to knock out Luis Hernandez. Right, and in trying to get that knockout, you get he can wear himself out. And you look worse. Round six of a scheduled eight. These are middleweights. Miriam Nur Sultanov, he's the prospect from Kazakhstan, now fighting out of Oxnard, California. And Luis Hernandez, the tough journeyman from Puerto Rico. And we know who's who because they're wearing their flags on their trunks. Oh, definitely. No mistake yeah. in that. <laughs> No mistake in that. Miriam, right now, I think, talking to Miriam, if you went in the corner and I had to give him information, I would like you to knock out to win now. So what you need to do is make him miss, make him pay. Let him run into a punch. Okay, let Miriam run into a punch. But And Miriam, I would say, what on the opposite is box, stick and move. We won this fight already. Um, try to catch him coming in. Try to catch him and it's walking right into a punch. And I'm just looking at the face of Nur Sultanov and his, I, I can see it just a little bit in the body language. He's starting to feel the effects of this fight. He's starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, a little bit of wear and tear. He's still letting his hands go. He's still, he's still in command. But I think the, the bloody nose and, and this the, the durability of his opponent, um, I can see an acknowledgement that this is a tough fight on the face of Nur Sultanov. Well, if you think about it like this, I hit a guy with my best shot. Let's say you're an Ali. Right? right. You hit a guy with your best shot, and it keeps coming. It kind of discourages you. It's stressful. Okay? It discourages you. It's got to so be stressful. So this is, right now, is a great test for him because Rodriguez just keeps coming. And Miriam hits him with his best shot, and he keeps coming. So you got this is a learning process for Miriam. And, and Hernandez isn't just a punching bag either. No, he hits your back. He punches back. Yeah. He hits your back. He gives, he's giving he's giving their Sultan of something to think about. I tell you, he reminds me so much of Hector Camacho, the way he is with those shorts. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and his hair he and his facial like features. Yeah. He just needs like a little curly cue. Yeah. Yeah. A series of overhand rights connect from Nur Sultanov. He's trying to nail. There are some body shots as Hernandez holds him while being shoved against the ropes. And Hernandez is upset, saying maybe uh, there was a clash of heads. Well, that bloody nose is pretty bad on oh, Mario. Yeah, it's, it's coming down now. And I have to imagine it's, it's affecting his breathing. the end of round six, and that's another round I've scored for Nur Sultanov. I can't see what's going on in the, the corner of North Sultanov right now. We're showing Hernandez. Now, Hernandez's face looks fine. He doesn't look fatigued, doesn't look out of breath, looks poised. His trainer wants more from him, just gave him a, a nice slap across the face. Couldn't see if they were working feverishly on the nose of North Sultanov in his corner. All right, here's round seven of a scheduled eight round in the middleweight division. Maybe he's 
And I think Nursultanov, for these last two rounds, he should just work his jab. Keep it an outside fight. Nice body work from the journeyman. Bit of a shoe shine there, but there was some thump at the end of those shots. And we're not seeing a, a hard jab for Nur, Nur Sultanov right now. Those are some nice right hands. And we're seeing an educated, varied right hand from Nur Sultanov. Delivers it straight. Can put an arc on it. You can shoot it to the midsection. I tell you, right now, Hernandez is uh, doing some tactics to, to frustrate and piss off Miriam so that Miriam gets a little bit out of character, starts overreaching, throws crazy punches, and hopefully he can catch him. So he, right now he's using a psychological advantage. He's trying to set up as you look. But now we're watching uh, the, the, the next coming of a, a new superhero in the boxing with Miriam. Um, you know, you got old counterparts, like the great Triple G in that weight class. Oh, yeah. Okay, from the European countries. Well, I mean, if you're a middleweight from Kazakhstan, obviously the guy you're going to look up to is Gennady Golovkin. Just like any any, any pro, really, any pro southpaw with speed from the yes. Philippines, everybody's going to compare him to Manny Pacquiao. And, and more often than not, Manny Pacquiao is going to be the hero of that, that young boxer. And I'm going to call Luis Hernandez the Camacho that does do a lot of punches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to give good and bad. Hernandez is not doing a lot of punching. So, yeah, uh, he could know. use some of that, that, macho, that macho time razzle-dazzle. That speed. Uh, I think uh, Wayne Hedgepeth is going to dock a point. He's penalizing Hernandez for excessive holding and rough stuff. Now, with, uh, along with holding, Hernandez was using uh, his elbows in there, shoving with his forearms. Very physical. Yes. He's being very physical because he's trying to upset Miriam. Anyway, he can get your opponent. See, this game is 90% psychological. So if I can get into your head, distract you, piss you off, get you angry, let you work off emotion rather than logic, I can beat you. Uh, I think it's working for Hernandez, even though it cost Hernandez a point, because I see Nor Sultanov looking to Wayne Hedgepeth a lot. Uh, Wayne Hedgepeth a lot. He's looking at the referee, and he's starting to feel like, hey, this guy's not, he's not fighting a clean fight. What's up? Kevin, what do you tell Nur Sultanov going into this eighth and final round if you are in his corner? I would be very careful not to tell him, be careful, okay? Okay. Of course, sometimes you do that to a fighter and he's too sensitive. Right. And he can lose the round or I he's see. scared of getting hit. You know, it's dangerous. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. Right? Because sometimes a trainer will tell you, be scared and they give you that fear. Right. So tell him, keep doing what you're doing. That's it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the eighth and final round. So if you give me something to worry about, I'm going to worry about it. Yeah, and you, you want your, fine, your fighter to be confident in the final Don't round. Don't panic your fighter. So if you tell the fighter, you panic him, right? Then, right? <laughs> then he's thinking about that. This has been good work for Nur Sultanov. Yeah, I got it scored unofficially. You know, I know that, right? Yes. You, now you, you've, got, you've got it a, a shutout, as do I. I've got all seven rounds to Nur Sultanov. But it hasn't come easy. There have been some chinks in the armor. And you know what? He doesn't look like he's unbeatable in there. And I think that's, that's motivation for a young fighter. That's very good. This is good work for him because you know why? He'll learn more from this fight than all his wins. Okay? Even though you got like, some knockouts, you can learn from those, but you learn more from this because you got a durable opponent in front of you. This is how real boxing is. As he gets to the championship levels, he's going to fight guys that he hits that don't go down. Okay? A nice double jab followed by a right to the body, and he, he fires a nice overhand right while moving. Uh, you know, right hand on the fly. 
And that's the, the uh, punch with an arc to it where he's kind of landing high on the head of Hernandez. The only thing I would say that he, that I would hope he learns is when, like right here, he's on the inside, right? He should bend his knees a little bit, see? Right. Bend his knees because you're too high. Okay, when you're too high, if he throws a winging right hand over here, right, that's what he's been catching him with. Right. So you bend your knees. So bend with your knees. a little bit of bend in the knees, exactly. he can get over those haymakers Hello. from Hernandez. And he can also probably get more leverage on his own yeah. shots. Of course, you're a bigger target. Right. You're a bigger target. So, like, when he gets close, bend those knees and disappear. See, he's too high. Oh, good shot. That was behind the air. Yeah. And that... That, that sneak right hand almost produced a technical knockdown because one of the gloves of Hernandez almost scraped the canvas. Canvas. Here's finally some body work from Nur Sultanov. We didn't see it that much earlier in the fight, but we're seeing some choice body shots here and there in the final rounds. Yeah, Miriam fought a, a fight. Well, now he's starting to, those punches are starting to work. Now we see Hernandez on the attack. When he gets on the inside, he's not really attacking as much. He's more of a tie-up. Yeah, this has been a tough fight for Nur Sultanov and for referee Wayne Hedgepeth. He's had his work cut out for him, separating these guys. Good solid eight rounds for Miriam. Nur Sultanov from Kazakhstan, now fighting out of Oxnard, California. I got it a shutout, Kevin. I got it a shutout unofficially, of course, 80-72. That's right. He didn't win one round. Uh, Hernandez was durable. He was credible, but he was not indestructible, <laughs> okay? So I look at it like, you know, he couldn't be knocked out. He's the kind of, fights like this is what Miriam needs. He needs fights where he hits guys, because when you're young, up and coming, you fight these young guys, and you hit them, and they lay down. Right. Well, he had he had eight yeah. knockouts in his previous ten fights, so it's good to go. Yeah. Not just eight rounds, but solid eight rounds. Uh, uh, yesterday at the weigh-in, there was a wallet that we found. Uh, if Daniel Valentino Hernandez, Daniel Valentino Hernandez, we found your wallet yesterday at the weigh-in. Please come up to the DJ booth to come and get it. Thank you. Very nice. Hey, 360 promotions. This is a oh. class outfit. You lose your wallet. Hey, man, we're going to get it back to you. You're you lucky. <laughs> exactly. Because this is in New York, you ain't get that wallet exactly. back. Exactly. No announcement right there. You might get the leather wallet back, not what was in it. <laughs> but good work. Good, solid professional resistance Hernandez provided for Nur Sultanov. I think Nur Sultanov is going to grow from this experience. He did good work. Um, it was a good fight for him because, you know, like I said, as you go up the ladder, you fight these guys that – don't lay down so easily. Hard to hit. Um, it's a better fight for you. So this is good education for him. All right, we'd like to welcome Facebook. Everybody on Facebook watching this stream who's just now joining us. This is the end of a, an eight round middleweight bout between Miriam Nur Sultanov and Luis Hernandez. And I hope I didn't butcher Nur Sultanov's first name too much. You might have. <laughs> may, may have. Don't worry about it. You're not his weight class. <laughs> All you need to know is he's a prospect to keep your eye on. You're not in his weight class, so you're good. Well, announcement. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three have it, 79-72 for your winner. By unanimous decision, he is still undefeated from Oxnard, California. Mirim Nursultanov!